North Korea resumed firing ballistic missiles this morning for the first time in over two months. Now, this comes less than 24 hours after another round of trash train balloons were sent to south. Our An Song Jin starts us off. North Korea on Thursday morning fired multiple short range ballistic missiles towards the East Sea. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said they are analyzing the types and range of the missiles launched from the Pyongyang area. It added that the missiles flew approximately 360 kilometers before landing in the East Sea. The JCS is on high alert for potential additional launches and is sharing relevant information with the U.S. and Japan. The last time the North fired a ballistic missile was on July 1st, which Pyongyang said were successful test launches of a new type of tactical ballistic missiles. The Joint Chiefs of Staff emphasized that North Korea's missile launch is a clear provocative act that seriously threatens the peace and stability of the Korean Peninsula. While condemning it, it added that the South Korea military will continue to closely monitor the regime's activities under the ROK-U.S. Joint Defense Agreement. An official at the Unification Ministry also said the launch violates U.N. Security Council resolutions and stated that at a time of urgent recovery from the flood damage, the provocations demonstrate the falsehood of the regime's propaganda. North Korea's launch of ballistic missiles follows the sending of more trash-carrying balloons toward the south on Wednesday evening. However, most of those balloons were carried by the wind back north of the military demarcation line. An official at the Defense Ministry noted that it's too early to tell if the launch of trash-carrying balloons and short-range ballistic missiles at the same time implies a complex provocation by the north due to the smaller number of balloons. The short-range ballistic missile provocation may have been a backlash against our recent joint exercises or could be a test for export to Russia. The trash balloons were forcibly sent yesterday, even though the wind direction was not favorable. However, speculation is rising that it could hint at a return to provocations against the South after balloons were last sent for five consecutive days from September 4th until the 8th. Watchers also say the North may increase provocations ahead of the U.S. presidential elections in November. An Songjin, Arirang News.